Welcome to this screencast video about the cutting software DrawCut Pro. My name is Fabian Franke and I will give you a general overview of the features and functions of DrawCut Pro, which is a standalone layout design and cutting software that operates with, with several uh, vinyl cutters like Sikabo. Roland, Summer, and other brands. Drawcut Pro offers many features to design your uh, plotting graphics, and I will show you how to get started with using the software. On startup, you usually have an empty document where you can change the size um, or the orientation like landscape and portrait here on the top then um, we can start from the beginning I will tell you something about this function here the I think the zoom in and out function is not that um, difficult text function is uh, very easy You can create uh, text like this. You can double clicking and selecting the text. You can um, use all the fonts that are on your system. You can change size, font weight, and uh, all things like that. And you also can change the color of your text by clicking with your left mouse button on uh, the color palette on the right hand side. Of course you can also um, change the side of size of your text with the arrow tool like you're used to with other um, software applications and also rotate text. Another text function is the text the arc text uh, function where you um, will get a circle that you can write your text on and you have several possibilities to change um, size and position of, of this arc text and you will be able to edit the content of the text at any time so you do not have to convert it to curves or paths but still can um, edit the content. A different um, and more flexible way of um, aligning text to other objects is the um, text to path. I will show you with an example here. We create an path and we will create some text and then if you select both objects and choose the fit text to path option then you will automatically see your text here and you will be able to move it around um, the selected object and if you double click and select your text you will be able to also just change the color for a moment you will also to flip it inside such an object and define an offs offset around this object so you can basically create every position of such a text around an object um, yeah, as you desire in the end you can even delete the original object if that was just to to help you creating um, the text you need and you will still be able to move that around your dashed line that you see here. Then the, the drawing function for uh, curves and, and freehand lines is pretty basic. Um, this function here is um, about importing images that you will usually vectorize in um, Drawcard Pro which is uh, part of a different screencast video. Um, here is a selection of simple 
objects that you can create with DrawCut, like uh, rectangles and squares, where you can simply choose um, rounded radius, for example, or another object is the, the star. And once you double click the object, you will be able to choose from several um, options to change the outlook of that, that object, for example, to create a completely different type of object. And this is also the case, for example, for the arrow tool where you can also double click inside to change sharpness, radiuses and all things like that. You're also able to to use welding and punch tools. For example, if we put that object here to the top or to the front and we select both, then here you're able to to use the punch out function to um, receive an object like this or different thing would be to do the opposite to weld those objects together to, to one object. And at that point I also can explain something about the, the node edit tool up here. Once you have a path object in DrawCut Pro you'll always be able to edit um, the single curves and and lines as you like to to modify. You're also able to delete single points. So coming back to our text features, um, Joker Pro features several text effects. I want to show you, for example, um, the drop shadow. Very basic. Um, tool but very performing very good uh, if you compare it to something you can do with Corel Draw for example because the, the shadow that is created automatically in which you of course can edit for distance and color and everything um, will always be prepared for cutting out with your cutting plotter perfectly so for example, if we see here, if we use the separate by color tool and we choose the color of the drop shadow, you will only um, get automatically the, the actual visible parts of the drop shadow and not um, the complete drop shadow. So you don't have to use those welding or punching tools to create a correct um, cutting object for the drop shadow color. The same is true for the block shadow. Also here you can create your design as you like, edit the color and also here you will find separated objects that are ready to cut just, um, just as you see it here and still you can edit those if you want to change something. Another text effect is the outline effect we can create um, an outline around your orig original text to modify the outlook of the whole font and again you can change certain parameters and use the result right away to cut out your text objects the same is available as an inline effect um, which only uh, works well for very bold fonts not like the one we see here. I already showed you the plot menu on the way. Um, here you have beside that separate by color menu where you can choose between the colors um, that are used in your design or graphic. You can use other functions like rotate or mirror your objects, especially important when you're cutting flex or flock films for garment decoration and you need to mirror your objects. 
um, you can set um, weeding boxes around your objects and DrawCut will automatically detect text objects so those weeding lines will never cross your your objects but always stay out and um, will help you a lot to to uh, weed your objects and of course here you also can set your blade offset of your cutter and uh, other cut settings and once you've set everything you're ready to go to cut out your graphics perfectly. That's all for the basic introduction into DrawCut Pro. Thanks for listening and see you next time.